my channel. My name is Angela. If this is your first time tuning in, got this little bad boy in the mail, so I wanted to share it with you. It is this micro drum abrasion tool, and it's also used to remove blackheads. And it's attached to the charging cable because I was just finished charging it. It's really cool. You just plug it, plug it into a USB port on your computer. So you don't have to worry about, you know, going through tons of batteries when it comes to this. So the reason that I got this is because I have seen other products like this that are much more expensive. So I decided to get this one at a fraction of the cost. When you think of whether or not it is going to be hygienic, it is because it has this little filter area and it has these little sponge filters that you can replace in there. So you put that together and then you place it back in here. So it does come with 20 of these little filters. So I mean, depending on how often you use the device, that's definitely going to last you quite some time. So there's the different tips that it comes with. It comes with just a regular circle tip. It comes with this micro crystal tip. And then it also comes with this, this oval tip. And I'll try to include some close-up pictures if I can grab those from the Amazon uh, link or store that I got it from. So I actually haven't used this yet, and I'll tell you why. I was really nervous about using it while I'm on my acne treatment, so I've kind of been postponing or wanting to put it off and for the purposes of this video I tried to convince my husband to do it it's just like no that's just too weird and I don't have any blackheads right now thanks to banish that charcoal mask is just amazing I don't have any blackheads on my nose so there really wouldn't be any point of me you know demonstrating it because I don't think that anything would come out Anyways, and then as far as microdermal abrasion, that is definitely not something that I should be doing at this time. When I ordered this product, I really wanted to be it to be a helpful like tutorial to show someone how to use it. And when I got it and I was like, I'm like looking at the instructions and I'm like, okay, I've read through this like three times and so I really want to understand how it works before I tell you how it works. Okay, so let's start with the most important tip, and that is the micro crystal tip. So you just put it on like that. I mean, it's really easy. So the micro crystal probe is made from granule and micro crystal diamond of artificial minerals and its absorption function, which can extract excessive keratin out of the skin and filth of clogged or congested pores. Doesn't that sound gross? So that's speed one, the speed two, I'm not sure if you could hear it. And that's speed three. See the little bit of suction that it causes? Can you see that? Okay. And then to turn it off, you just hold it down. With this tip here, you're gonna use this for the microderma abrasion, and then you just use it on your skin and you hold it tightly and you move it you know, while it has the suction and you just move it outwards. So you start inside and then you move it out. And of course you use the speed that you feel comfortable with. And this is said to help with the appearance of fine lines and acne scars, which is the reason that I got it. Cause you guys all know that while I'm holding out and hoping that I can one day get the laser treatment it is seventeen hundred dollars and you know it might not be something that I'm gonna be able to have done realistically so if I can find a tool that might help or you know try derma rolling or whatever options that I might have I'm going to try it the next tip is I'm going to talk about there are two. There is the larger rounded tip and the smaller rounded tip. And this is for the extraction. So I am 
assuming that the larger one would be for like your cheeks or you could use the smaller one which you could use on your nose and that would really be perfect in my opinion. The last tip is this oval tip and this one is supposed to be for around your mouth and your eyes. I noticed that when I was doing it on my husband's face, when we were using the small circular one on his nose and it was sucking out the blackheads, it's not like the blackheads were like chup, chup. <laughs> They were just kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, coming to a head. I don't know, it's like they were sucking out but not like sucking into the device, if that makes sense. So once it was like extracted, then I would just go like that. I mean, don't do that. You should probably use like a cotton round with like alcohol or something, maybe not alcohol, maybe just like um, a micellar water or something that's not gonna like put dirt down into the pore that you just extracted, if that makes sense. And what you have to be really, what's really important about this that I noticed when I was using it on his nose, you don't want to leave it on one spot for too long, like five seconds max. If you're not getting anything, move on to the next spot. And with the round tip, the round tips you don't want to drag. You want to lift up and move to the next spot. If you leave it on one spot for too long, you're gonna create that little suction cup and it'll leave like just like a little hickey, but it doesn't last that long. Like by the time that I had come in here to film, it was already gone. I think that besides the microdermabrasion aspect of this tool, the other thing that I'm really excited about, not so much the blackhead removal because I mean, I have other means of doing that even though that's pretty cool, um, is the oval tip and that's because I mean, you guys already know that I'm trying to be proactive about my wrinkles and don't laugh because I know I'm only 31 and I shouldn't be worried about wrinkles or whatever, but like I notice in my pictures that I take and post online, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have those smile lines and then, you know, I'm just like, oh. any woman knows what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, it's just something that we start to worry about and it's in the back of our head even though we may not think it is. And I'm, I'm just putting it all back together so I can keep it together. And it all comes in this nice little box so that it doesn't get all over the place. So this is gonna be its home until I find a spot in my collection area. Which if you guys wanna see a, not necessarily room tour, but maybe a skincare collection video. I was thinking about creating a poll and seeing if that's something that you would do. I did have quite a response to my dental hygiene video, so that's gonna be coming next week, guys. I'm hoping to get it up Friday. How does that sound? Does that sound fair? <laughs> Anyways, thank you again for spending a few minutes of your day with me while I talked about a new tool to my arsenal. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe down below so that you are notified about future videos. And I just realized that I did a big taboo and I left a hair scrunchie on my wrist and that always drives me nuts. <sighs> I can't believe that. Well, have a great day, guys. Bye.